parody song. My name's Pete. My name's Nick, hello. This is a Kutsu Poliso, and today we've got another, um, uh, shoot out, doo -doo 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 -doo, or whatever you're gonna call it. It's the end of the day, it's been late, this is video number five, uh, and, um... With no drop in professionalism whatsoever, absolutely. because you can always expect the highest standards from me and Pete. Absolutely, all the time, you couldn't tell if this was like nine o'clock in the morning, first video, no. fresh. Two fresh morning fresh. Fresh as daisies. Uh, yeah, some daisies that's just literally been burnt with a flamethrower <laughs> and then stepped out like that. That's I think that's kind of the freshness we're searching, we, we are, yeah. we're experiencing right now. Anyway, to be fair, judging by my playing this morning, that is exactly what had happened. <laughs> but it's not about the playing. No. It's about, um, it's about, well, it's about these two guitars. Um, and... To be fair, in the beginning, in the beginning, um, I thought I I thought I had that one. So this is the Sigma DM Dash SG Five, and it bears a striking resemblance to the Gibson Hummingbird from what the Heritage series. Yes. Did you say so? This guitar yes. is about twenty three hundred quid. Yeah, and I think this is uh, a little bit less than five hundred. Yeah, I believe. Um, so, I mean. Solid Siskis push top. Siskis push top. Check. Mahogany laminate back and sides. Solid maple. Huh? No. Uh, solid mahogany. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, that looks like mahogany to me. Oh, yeah, so it is. So it is. Uh, I thought I was seeing a grain. Sorry, my stomach was just going, oh, you're hungry. Uh, mahogany neck here, but that's, you know, mahogany neck. It's nice. It's got a bit of flame in it, this mahogany. I know. It's, Sometimes it's, you get mahogany with a little bit of flame yeah. in it. Like this here, but this is, of course, not. Uh, this flame arch here is not. Um, this is laminate. Mahogany neck here. Check. And that scarf, what is that called, that joint there? It is indeed called a scarf joint. Yeah, so the Gibson doesn't have that. This is Grover tuners. Uh, these are two also as well are yes. Grover tuners. Um, can, can I just moan about Grover tuners? <laughs> yeah, man. I, that, I like them with the big knobs Heavy, on them. Heavy, uh, always got plenty yeah. of play in them. What's wrong with a Waverly? That's my question. Oh, there's nothing wrong with anyway, that. Anyway, let's move along. Move on. Uh, uh, Rosewood fingerboard and bridge. Check. Uh, Fishman Sonitone system in here. Uh, I think it's a Bilbo. A LR Bilbo baggins yeah, I think, in there. Yeah, An LR yeah. bagged element, I would guess. Yeah. Mm. 23, 400 pounds. About five, roughly 500 pounds. What I want to know is how do they get away with just look at the design of the, I mean, of so the pick guard. You can see the pick guard here is a very thick one. Yep. Right. This one is much thinner, but it's, I mean. Yeah, that's some sort of very nice celluloid, that, whereas that's a, like yeah, a this plastic. Is, yeah. But. Made of real hummingbirds, not yeah, so much. This is. It's not uh, made of real hummingbirds. This is pandas and yeah. unicorns. Yeah. This is, um, this is not. 
<laughs> split, I mean, split parallelogram. Um, split parallelograms. Inlays, which yeah. are very nice too. Um, yes, I mean, when you look at them from a distance, you might, I, you know, you, I would tell. You know, I also think whenever, whenever looking at a Gibson uh, square shoulder dreadnought such as this, it makes more sense why they called this one square and that one round because this is squarer than a Martin style dreadnought. Absolutely it? correct. Yeah, so it correct. looks much squarer. Yeah, don't be square. Play an E chord. Play an E chord. I think it's again a similar thing that he's saying again because we've just made a similar video yes, using uh, J45 style guitars. Yeah, it is the it is the similar observations. Yeah, I would say that one the strings are a little bit deader, tiny bit, tiny bit, yeah. which I'm noticing. Yeah, but this little lighter sounding, a little more lively. Yeah, but once you punch it hard, yeah, there's a it kind of. You get to the limit. It, it it gets to there, and then that's it. Where this one, you can literally just keeps going. You can give it some more, you know. And yeah, to me, the differences aren't as stark as they were with the J forty five. No, absolutely not. Guitars. Absolutely not. Not at all. Uh, and as I said in the beginning, I literally thought I had the when I, I was playing. I thought I had the uh, the humming the hummingbird. This one, the Gibson. Yeah. You know, and then sort of look down and go, oh yeah, 
That's not the one. So, and we've done it I before. I looked down and I thought, that's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Not. So you said. A second is to play that on Gibson, isn't it, really? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, that was Neil Young, by the way. Yeah. It's, it's great to hear, it's like a nice headroom and lots of sort of, you know, I don't mind when the strings are a little bit uh, not as singy, because yeah. I tend to think it gets too bright and too singy. Yeah. You know, if you... If I bent down and take a harder pick... Or a softer pick with the tip... You can hear the difference in the sing. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> we, I think we've had this pick conversation before. Prime tone. Again, like the other ones, it's a little bit easier to play. Yeah. It zings a bit more, that guitar. It sings a bit it? more. And, and I equate that with slightly cheaper guitar. Yes, but that's the thing, isn't it? You know, that's a bit softer with that pick. <coughs> and I'm not strumming much harder. Another pick. You know what I mean? There's so much difference in the pick. A, a song where you can, where you hear, where you can hear the pick all the way through. We had this when we were in Italy recently. Um, Dude, I totally miss you. Oh yeah, because when the drums comes in, they call it's uh, today's is D. Dude, I totally miss you. <clears throat> Dude, I totally miss you. Uh, I really uh, beeping miss you. I'm all alone all the time. Something like that, whatever. But when you hear the drums comes in, there's this massive drum fill. Dave Grohl like quack quack, falaloosh like that, and you can still hear. <laughs> I think that's what it said on the score. Is it like, can you play ba ba falaloosh? And you can hear the thin, the thin, thin yeah, pick yeah. that I think it's Carl Gass. I think, I don't know, maybe it's Dave Grohl playing it, but Carl Gass is a really good guitar player. Yeah. But you can hear that. You can hear that flapping off the pick. So here's a uh, 88 mil. It's something like that. But then, and then the one mil. And then the hard one. It's probably the same. Uh... You know what I mean? There's That's so much. Mad. Just do that on that guitar again, can you? How much? How much difference a pick makes? And people forget about picks, man. Well, just do the same. Okay, do the same again. Eighty-eight. Really soft, because I think this has been played a lot, so it's a bit softer. You know, they do go softer. Point four mil prime tone. I don't need to play it anymore. I can tell these picks are so the the, the the difference on this guitar are so much more yes. than it is on this guitar. I'm which pleased you lead, which, which leads me to think that you know you, there's so much more dynamic no, dynamics and yep. notes and tones and I, I'm really and pleased you said that because from where I was sat. The difference in the bass response when you hit it with a bigger pick, yeah. it just brought all the but the volume, the volume alone, you, yeah, you, know, yeah. you do the same. 
on that guitar, on this guitar, I'm going to do the same, you know, I'm going to try as good as I can to do, sorry. It was more noticeable with what you were playing earlier. Well, not, yeah, I was playing the. Uh... Yeah. Anyway, kind of I mean, a kind of a, a long way around explaining. <laughs> yeah. No, but and and worthwhile doing as well. The, the the difference in dynamic range of the Gibson compared to the Sigma, I would say. And that's that seems to be you know you seem to get a lot of um, bang for your buck in these guitars and these. Yeah, uh, I can say. Guitars, do you, do you want mean... to pay nearly another two grand for your dynamic range? Is uh, is is the question? Perhaps yeah. if you want a guitar that you want for decades yeah perhaps it's a treat you know perhaps you're you're inserting you're selling uh you know like you are 82 you 82 know, soon. Bought it for my 60th birthday yeah you know and then you know you want to you want to kind of have a 60th birthday for yourself yeah uh, tweet yep. you know you you know you might i mean budget is relative isn't it price is relative because some people can afford to buy a, a, a two super you john mayer's one and two and that's great and if you can great i mean I wish I could, but I would if I could. You know what I mean? You would. I would buy a Ferrari if I could. You know, so price is relative. You know, you, that might be a lot of money for some people, which I'm sure it is, and this might be a lot of money, but not for some people. It's not a lot of money. Yeah, you, know, it's, you can. It's, and that's, you, that's, can't, that's, that's, you can't. That's just the way it is. Can't even go there. You can't dust no. for price. No. It's Absolutely. Yeah. Quick one before we go. Really quick. Mick. Really quick, make quick, make quick, make quick, make make quick, make quick, quick, quick. quick. He's gonna pluck it into the sunny tone. Oh, again, I'm looking at it, going, is that the game? I know. I had to just double check. But I, this is more of a honey type, type thing. Anyway, we've got the uh, the buzz, buzz, bush, uh, acoustic singer pro. Whoa. <laughs> and uh, it's plugged in uh, from the output of this into the into the uh, door. Nicer. Again, is it to say if it's the uh, LR Bilbo Baggins. Baggins system in there? The thing or? is, in the room, that was louder, and I think yeah. therefore it, you're hearing more of the. Let's face it, most un, most under saddle pickups on acoustic guitars tend to have some frequencies that aren't tremendously pleasant in there. Yeah. However, they do cut well in a band situation, and that's kind of why they're there. Um, but you are not hearing anything from the room. You're hearing the direct, direct outside out signal from yeah. the bus. Here, here in the room, I much prefer. That this one. sounds much better in the amp in the room. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely but, agree. But I, you know, once it hits a board, gets a bit of EQ, gets a bit of tweakaroo here and there. Tweakarunes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, always a compromise with uh, under saddle pickups. In yes. my humble opinion. Yes, that's why you use an amplifier uh, for your live gigs, and uh, so do I. Um, and Mick and me have got a gig on Saturday, and uh, I'm going to borrow that Boss Acoustic Singer Pro for the for the gig because I think that sounds good. So I'm going to take that, and you can take your AER. Indeed. And then we're going to do a little gig, sing some songs. I'm not going to tell you where though. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. When you watch this video, yeah, we'll, uh, it'll we've be been gone. on the gig already. It will be long. Uh, if you watched it, thanks for coming. If you uh, missed it, um, there might be some other time. Yeah. Good. Um, that's it, isn't it? I think so. Gibson Hummingbird. Yeah, and Gibson the, um, Hummingbird. Separated by about, what, what did we say, £1,800 or yeah, thereabouts? Yeah, something like that. And the DM SG5, made in China. Uh, Gibson Hummingbird. Yes. And of course, you get a case with that. This, you doesn't, you don't, you, you, it doesn't, it doesn't come in the case. Nitrocellulose, He's, not. Yeah, it's definitely not. Anyway, I'm going to play my one mil nylon pick. 
and I'm going to play the sick moon guitar, and we're going to jam out. Okay. On something that um, who played a hummingbird? Probably. Joe Crow. Mm, is it a hummingbird or is it a dove? Oh, da, da, da. Anyway, I was Pete, that's Mick, I'm Chris Parodies. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching the Anderson's TV. Link up below. And thank you, subscribe, love you loads. Nice thumbing. I know. Nice thumbing. Reminds me of old um, blind thumber <laughs> Theriot. Blind thumber Theriot? Yeah. I feel like a blues coming out. Yeah, yeah. Blind thumb through the good is a massive thumb. Look, come on. Blind thumb of Theriot with a massive, massive thumb. thumb. All the girls love my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> when I put it up there. <laughs> there you go. Uh, a tribute. Welcome to, to Acoustic Parody. So a tribute there to uh, Blind Big... Thumber Theriot. How did he find around with it if he's blind? Well, no, I mean, because he he only had a. Th oh, thumb. sorry. I'm thinking. I was, I was, he, you're, you're he, thinking about the playing guitar. I was thinking, thinking about something completely different. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.